Hello, everybody. Okay, so, number one, let's go ahead and apologize for the last episode. I was not in the mood to be trying to figure some things out. Um, until towards the end, when I kind of calmed down a little bit. Um, I'm not proud of that. <laughs> I never am proud of when I get extra frustrated at video games. Um, it never usually happens, and most of the time it's just an annoyance rather than is pure anger, but I just was not in the mindset to be looking at things objectively instead of smashing my face against the challenges that came up. So, um, since then, I've been thinking a lot about this, and uh, like I said at the end of the last episode, I have a few ideas of what I should be doing. Um, and like I said, I think I need a few levels. I don't think I need a lot. And after work tonight, as well, during work tonight, as I was delivering, I was thinking, hmm, what should I do first? And Leviathan seems good, but at the same time, I think I'm in a, in a fairly good position right now to get some levels uh, and take out Doom Yays, I think. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is get my main team here to level, they're, they're around level uh, 30 something right now, yeah, 35, 30, 35. I think I want to get them to level 39 so that level 5 Doom whiffs um, might push it to 41 for that reason, just uh, for preparations purposes, but uh, at the same time, I think the way I'm going to do it is by going and doing some of these jobs that uh, were in South Figaro that I didn't pay attention to being there until just now. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to aim for my BFF today. It's coffee with doom gaze. <laughs> but yeah, my mood is much better. I had a good night at work. Um, I did not uh, take a nap before this, which usually lowers my energy levels and stuff too, so it just, I was just set up to get frustrated last episode, but anyway, it's a new day. We make mistakes and we move on. So let's move on. <laughs> of course, I went in the wrong side of the frickin' end to get to the pub, but you know, great start. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some jobs, one of which will definitely get us some EXP. Cave Monster Crackdown is just like the Cave Monster Cleanup, I imagine, from the uh, from South Figaro in the World of Balance where we fought the dogs. I bet there's something new to that. I'm going to skip that one for now because I'm pretty sure these other two are just uh, like around town quests, I bet, just based on these names. Um, maybe, I don't know. I know this one's a fight, though, so let's check these out. I am in a real pickle. A kid has gotten stuck somewhere under the town. Monsters lurk down there these days. Somebody has, nobody has dared to go down there until now. Oh, okay, so what? We're going under the rich guy's house? And there's a kid somewhere down there? All right, well, that place is dangerous. We'll go take a look. Duncan's house. Okay, cool. Uh, let's check the victory drink. A good customer of mine has been waiting, wanting a venomous fish called the Yellow Globe real bad lately. I just hope he's not planning anything rash. So that customer of mine who wants a Yellow Globe lives on the east side of town. I have one of those. Yes, east side of town. Okay. Well, let's go see. Well, if it's a customer of yours, it's the rum, or it's the, uh, the cider guy, right? I keep forgetting there's no frickin' bridge there anymore. <laughs> An old customer of his. Yeah, he quit drinking, right? Isn't that what we found out when we were here before? I bet it is this guy. What does he want a yellow globe for? It's poisonous. You know it's poisonous, right? What exactly are you going to use it for? It is a venomous fish, but I'm not going to eat it. I just want its fins. Broiled yellow globe fins can turn ordinary wine into the most delicious drink ever. Let's go. Didn't you give up drinking, Grandpa? Ah, <laughs> indeed I did. Wine just doesn't taste as good with the world in shambles. 
But things will get better someday, and when that happens, we'll need wine to celebrate our victory with. You and your grandson? <laughs> Child services! After all, how can we make a toast to anything without something to drink? That's what this fish is for. Thank you, young fellows. Here's hoping we'll all get to share this tasty fish and wine someday soon. Oh, more running shoes. Nice. We take those. Okay. So, we got to go underneath the South Figaro through Duncan's house, huh? Cool. So, we got more freaking running shoes. Um, yo, cells? Um, actually. No, I like the ability to steal good stuff right now. Um, let's give it to Cell. She's got a ribbon on. She doesn't need a white cape. You can just be a little faster. And don't worry, um, this is the team that I'm, I'm partial to using right now, but I might switch it up a little bit soon. Because our other characters are obviously going to need levels. Especially when we're splitting up in Phoenix Cave and Kafka's Tower and all that good stuff. So, don't expect the same team constantly. But for right now, this is what I'm comfortable with using. And this is like a team of my favorite characters anyway, so... Eat my shorts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why am I so aggressive tonight? Alright. Yeah, I know where he is. Him and his dumb son that kicked my ass. I can't get in through Duncan's house. What are you talking about? Eh, you're lying. It was through the old man's house. Or the rich man's house. Unless I just didn't listen to him. I don't know. Oh, duh. Duh, 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 duh. It is under Duncan's house. It's right here. Okay, fine. You weren't lying. Bartender man. It's dark. Good thing I know my way around here. I wonder if the chests are filled back up. That'd be great. All right. So let's not be hasty here. Well, Terra and Cells are gonna be hasty, but let's just let's just take it slow and really look at what we should be doing. Okay, you're just naughties, dude. You're fine. You're fine. We can we can we can kill you easy. These look like levels we can we can actually contend with here. Certainly, certainly. All right, Vivian. Weak against poison, eh? That's awkward that that enemy should be weak against poison. And I'm sure this is weak against ice. Or water or whatever. Let's try and steal from this thing. No, it's gonna get Blizzogan. Oh, it might not be dead. That's getting Blizzogan. That might not be dead. Oh, they both have uh, ribbons. So you're screwed. Alright, bio. Steel. Okay, a potion. Germs. Okay, it didn't do anything to him, but. Alright, bio. That's what he's weak to. Poison, which is, again, strange for that sprite. I do like his sparkly tentacles, though. Get in there, Locke. See some damage, dude. It's not gonna be a lot, but... Ah, that's okay, I guess. Alright, this seems like... Kind of a safe place to be hanging out, really. Gotta be careful of levels, though. Okay, the chests are not refilled. Alright. I don't remember that bottom, uh... Place down there. Um, I could be wrong, actually. Hang on a minute. When we see the, when we see the map again, I'll see... I'll show you what I mean. That's a dead naughty. Yeah, sorry about your luck. She blocked it with the shield. She didn't even need her ribbon. 
Birds. All right, you can you can berserk him all you want. He'll be just fine. Actually, be pretty helpful if you berserk lock. Holy crap! Setzer, where'd that come from, bro? Damn. Right, this, uh. Right here. I don't recall this actually leading anywhere, actually. Yeah, that's a red herring. I'm gonna guess that, um. The kid is either in the room that Cells was in, or, uh, oh, that was bad move, buddy, apparently. Why can't I target that dude? Hmm, weird. There's no way he's dead. Um... He's either in the room Cells was in, or he's down in the hidden uh, staircase. I bet. Weak against wind. Well, I don't have a wind spell on me right now. I think I'm just gonna Blizzara everything here. Here is fine, I'm not afraid of it. Okay, that sucks. Dang, that's some good damage. Heat rush. Does not work on Terra, sorry about your luck. Lock is Berserk now too, which is actually kind of good. Holy crap. White Wind. Okay, how much you got left there, buddy? 400? Okay, so 800. Um, so this little imp guy has a whole lot of blue magic spells. Aroga, White Wind? We could bring Strago down here and fill that list up a little bit. All right, gotta remember. Left, left, go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Is he down here? Oh, hi. She. Sorry, it was a kid. Just a kid. Actually, can I ask you a favor? Can you take me to the storeroom? It's somewhere deep inside this place. I really want to get there. I could get there on my own, but I got lost because it's so dark down here. Stop by the storeroom, then we go straight back to town. Storeroom? That's the place closest to the uh, rich guy's house, yeah. Why can't I target that back row guy? Is there back row stuff going on here with my spells? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Interesting. away from me, sir. Dead? Not dead. Have I even hit it yet? I don't think I did, actually. Oh, crap, lock. I forgot. 
you have a freaking Valiant Knife and you're Temptationed. Alright. Getting a little dangerous. There he goes, okay. <sighs> oh, you're not temptationed anymore, I don't think, because the thing died. Yeah, keep trying, buddy. Alright, yeah, this is looking... This area seems pretty good for trying to chill out. A little bit, I say, and then there's a Tonberry down here. <laughs> That's alright, we were able to kill a freaking M Tonberry, so. Go on. Uh, yeah, we'll just flare him. Okay, that move again. Got it. Can instant kill. Did not. Okay. Healing. Zealous, can you... Uh, well, it doesn't matter, because somebody would throw a spell before then. Um, let's try and steal from him. Come on. This is going to elicit um, all grudge, right? Yes. Don't be dead, Cells. Okay, you just got hurt, that's all. Enemy has no items. Well, wow. surprised. There it is. Nobody holds a grudge that long, dude. Get over it. Random Esper, let's go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, Phantom. Okay. We'll take it. I suppose. Oh, uh, let's slow this butthole. I probably should have done that sooner. Oh, he did not counter holy with all grudge. Maybe it's just flare. Okay, he did it to the slow. But the slow did hit. Ooh, lock. You are in the perfect position, my friend. To start swinging. Got him. Word. Alright, so here's the thing. You, Locke, my friend, can stay at that much HP. Oh, this is to the other chest. This isn't the right way. Is it? Wait. Might not be. Ow. Locke's about to do some killer damage with that Valiant Knife. Not bad. Not the best, but not bad. Oh, that can help still hit banish people. Oh, okay. You went for cells. Got it. Sure looked like you are aiming for Locke. I kind of want to see how much damage Locke will do while Berserked at 95 HP. Go for it, dude. 
Oh, of course. I should have known. Fine then, have some darts. Visible darts. I'm trying again. Come on, Locke. I want to see you do damage, dude. Don't get hit. I guess I can vanish you. Eh, we'll just take our chances. We got four targets. Okay, not much more. Yeah, this is the right way. There's the storeroom. A record? Oh! Guys, it's Take On Me by AHA. <laughs> Remember, if you've watched me play Beyond Chaos, you know that every record in the entire world of Ruin is only Take On Me. <laughs> okay, I think this bone and blazes made you go down there in the first place. Sorry for ignoring you. I went to get this record. We used to play it here. Mom used to talk about how the music you played at this pub was really nice. Hell yeah, 80s, dude. Everyone here has been so sad since the world ended, so I hope maybe this music could cheer them up. Oh, what a nice thought. Thank you. Oh, is it going to actually have the pub music again? Nice. That's a weird cover of AHA, dude. Really is a lovely melody. The world's a tougher place than ever before, but us grown-ups gotta keep it together, you know? Anyways, thanks you guys. It's not much, but take this. Wait. If anyone should thank you, it's me. Thank you for saving me. Here, this ribbon is for you. That's three ribbons. I love this pub. It's great, even if I can't drink yet. Well, one day. Okay, cool. Well, we did both of those. So now we just have the uh, Cave Monster Crackdown. I really hope that we can go back down into there, because that was a decent place to grind. Let me hit the end real quick. Wait, I'm going outside to save anyway. I'll just use the end that's on my freaking airship that I keep forgetting I have. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. We'll see if this cave monster crackdown is actually harder than I hope. Do we have frickin' three ribbons now, though? Kind of makes me want to give one to Locke, but then he can't be berserked either. Let's drop your word mangle for now and give you a ribbon. So we're we're edging closer to having a full party set of ribbons, which can really really help, especially with all the status effects that monsters in the world of ruin like to give you. Right, let's just do it. I wonder if it's gonna be dogs again. Oh. Bring on the bandits and whatever else. Nothing can stop me now. The working lady right there. Oh yeah, you were the little girl that ran around this pub in the world of balance. I forgot all about that. Word. Alright. Let's go. Ferocious Beast has claimed the Cave of Victoria as its lair. If we don't do something, it could attack our town next. You folks seem mighty strong. Could you get rid of the bees for us? I'll make it worth your while. Cave Fiend Crackdown. Be careful in there and good luck. 
Fish and fire. Let's try the fish first. Oceanus and sandfish. Okay. What are you guys? Should I be worried? Wait for the Libra and just see what we're dealing with here. What level of enemies we got. 33, not bad, 2700. Okay, I'm going to guess that this was tailor-made for having sort of low levels in the World of Ruin and can be probably done repeatedly for EXP, huh? Yeah, this, this level of enemies doesn't look too tough. Now, 295 EXP, though. That is not a lot. Hi, Ether. What's this guy? Grenades? Spirit and Onibi. Well, I can raise you guys. I can raise you. I can raise you. And I can just fight this thing, because it's... An early game enemy, I think? Yes. Ding. Ding. Alright. As per usual, we're gonna keep lock on some low HP. There's 10,000 gil in here. Awesome. Yeah, I think this is made for getting us money and everything else. I don't know. I bet I can raise that guy, too. He looks undead to me. Here, cat. What are we doing? Oh, did you find your mouse toy? Alright, see you later. Have fun, buddy. He's undead as well. There's a fiend in here, and there's a bunch of undead stuff. Makes me think of Mylon. Desert Sag and Sandfish. I hear you, buddy. Uh-oh. That's some damage. All good. Get a Thundaga out there, please. Yeah. Yeah? Meow. What? What? Mouse toy. Ready? <laughs> Ho kick? Ow. Freak, Wincy. That's Discord. Don't give me your names. All right. Yeah, not a lot of EXP from these fights at all. Which is understandable. We could have done this quest probably before we even got Edgar. I imagine. Okay, Magnitude 8. Got it. Whatevs. Here it is. That was a lot of damage. Meow. Don't you talk back to me. Well. Nah. It was worth a try there. Why? Do I still have lock in the back row? Okay, there we go. You are a fairy. I'm going this way so that I can get this chest. That something's probably guarding. Yep, this thing. Alright. Whatever. I like that they refill our chests. Alright, this looks like a double raise to me. Ding. Alright. 
1,212 EXP is nothing to sneeze at, though. Another hero ring. I wonder how this boss is here. Oh, not X Potion. Do not use my X Potions. Alright. Well, let's... Just out of safety, you have poo, poo Okay, good. Hello. Miniti. Hi. Terror voice. Okay, let me just go ahead and leave her one of you. Let's see what's up. Meanwhile, Locke should just go ahead and attack, I think. Weak against fire? Are they reflected? Terra stopped. I don't think I like that too much. Let's go ahead and see if they're reflected first. Could just have auto reflect on. Dang, Locke, do some damage, bro. They're not. Okay, this should be easy then. Do all the terror voices you want, man. We can be stopped. That shit wears off. And you're probably dead here. Yeah. I think that's just an EXP sponge game. 1455. And a lot of money. Oh, that wasn't the boss. I guess just because that's where the one boss was doesn't mean that's the boss this time. Alright, let's move on. Oh, hello. It's you. Deep One, an undead princess. Well, guess what? Guess what an undead princess can, can just go ahead and do? Just die to a phoenix town? See ya. I don't know if the Deep Ones will die from it. Oh, she doesn't. You're an undead princess. Why the hell could you... Okay, then. Why the hell wouldn't you die to a phoenix down if you're undead, you dip? Locke is in a great position to start swinging. But I think I will do just that. Well, actually, we just cured him. Never mind. Um, okay. We're dead. not dead. Now we're dead. <laughs> okay. So we can't do that unless we float. She gets really mad at them for killing her. Okay. So we died there. Because we weren't floating. Okay. That was just information that we did not have. So... Whatever, no big deal. Um, that just means we go into that fight floated. That's all. Um, the arrow is a little annoying. Or the wind, whatever. A little annoying. Um, you got a thunder shield. Okay, let's try again. No getting frustrated over that, because that was just... We couldn't help that. I had no idea that they had Quake. Alright, let's go. Go ahead and get the treasures that we didn't get before. Or that we got before, should say. Okay, Bunny Rabbit it is. Followed by Thundaga, followed by Thundara, followed by Attack. 
I don't have a muscle belt, I don't think, so uh, the trick unlocks HP won't quite work. Uh, hmm. Or do I? No, I don't. You know what? All Locke is going to be doing is attacking. I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna take the Genji Glove off. I don't think the Atma weapon is worth having right now. He does not have enough freaking HP. I think we're just gonna give him the Valiant Knife. Flame Shield's pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna let Locke hit, hit things, dude. It's what he wants to do. I'm not worried about attacking, or uh, stealing, right this second. I think Locke just wants to swing on stuff, dude. Of course, he's not in the best position to be doing so right now because he is at... Well, that's better. Okay, um... I'm gonna try and gravity lock here and get him down kinda low. in this fight while it's relatively safe for him. Ah, of course. Well, let's just hit him. Not that he's not going to go down a little bit. Okay. So we'll just be careful not to heal Locke when we heal the others, I think. And just let him swing away. No H-bomb. Well, that doesn't help with Locke's situation. It's gonna get healed by the bunny. Okay. Get him, Locke. Or get magnituded. Cool. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt to be floated still. Like right now. We don't have to wait until that fight to be floated. May as well set it up. What else was it they were doing? Yeah, the... yeah. You know what? I... Uh, let's just raise you. Oh yeah, go ahead and take Locke's MP. He's not going to be doing anything but swinging, so... <laughs> Does, do any of my espers give me float? I don't think so. That's alright, we can... we can... uh multi-target float in battle too, so um, in case they decided to give the deep ones uh, 50 G's. Because it seems to me that any any enemy that they've added seems to have a way to counteract any typical strategies to beat. Hey, you. What are you doing? All right, one more mouse toy throw. Ready? Go get it. Oh boy. <laughs> You're so goofy, dude. Did you lose it under the couch? Huh? <laughs> I'll get it in a minute, Fury. Don't get yourself stuck under there, man. <laughs> Why did I just runic? I meant to attack. I'm gonna runic this raise now. Yay. Good job, Tony. We 
we go. Nice luck. Oh, he's not in the front row either. I forgot that I didn't put him in the front row until I was in this cave before. Alright. Uh, chill at your low HP. Yeah, this was a hero ring, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any more MP, dude. <laughs> Get out of here. Poor cat. All right, man. I'm coming. Here you go, buddy. Welcome. Over there. <laughs> You're welcome. What? 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 I love my cat so much. <laughs> He's so freaking funny, dude. <laughs> Alright. Give him my hero ring. <sighs> Jeez. Has to quit a couple of Firas on these things. You better not have stopped my Berserk Lock. You did do more damage to him, though, which is helpful. <laughs> oh, you did stop him. I just didn't see the outline. Okay. So. Oh, accident. That sucks. I accidentally cured lock. It's okay. Okay. I don't think that's going to help us too much, vanishing, but we'll give it a shot. Especially because I plan to poo-poo as soon as Cell's turn comes up. We are floating, though, so Quake is not as scary. Actually... Us casting Quake is a good idea. Oh my god, we're all dead, aren't we? Except Setzer. Again. Because he's got a Thunder Shield equipped. Okay, well we messed up again. Because having float, or having vanish, made the, that arrow definitely hit. Okay, quake yourselves. That'll help. Maybe you can't do anything to Setzer. Except maybe the undead princess who's just going to poison spit the hell out of the... Guys, drain. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, well, let's try again, I guess. So, just... Just being, um, floated isn't enough. Because of the wind. Followed by Thundaga. Reflect mail. I need to go buy Reflect Rings. That's what I'm understanding now. Let's go buy Reflect Rings. I don't want to get hit by Thundaga. Arrow's gonna hit us no matter what, but Arrow plus Thundaga is the unholy combo that will kill us immediately. So I'm gonna go to Jidor and buy Reflect Rings. That's just all there is to it. 
So we float and we have Reflect Rings equipped, which we'll need for the uh, Fanatics Tower eventually anyway, so I don't mind buying them now. Um, and... Oh my god! 40k! That's a little bit... Ridic. Alright. But we'll just put it on... Our most important character, I guess? Wait, no, she doesn't need it. She's got the reflect armor. So, um... How about you have the black robe for the better magic? Instead of the running shoes, you have the reflect ring then. Sets her... Um... Everyone else, I guess, is okay. Um, actually, now that I think about it... You're gonna get hit by... Yes, you are going to get hit by the wind. So having a lunar curtain will give you reflect. Um... Okay, that's, that's the only strat I have. I have three people set up to be reflected. Um, actually, yeah, drop that. And you will also have a lunar curtain. Okay, everyone's set up to be reflected. Uh, we got the reflect mail on Terra. We've got the reflect ring on cells. And as soon as the uh, whirlwind hits us, We'll, uh, go to low HP and the Lunar Curtains will proc and we'll get Reflect from that. So if a Thundaga comes up right after that, it's all getting Reflected. And we should be able to just unload spells. That is my assumption, anyway. We do need to make sure we're floated. Do not forget. Right. Round three. Yeah, you're not gonna get to use magic anyway in here, so float us. You're gonna be berserked, and you're going to lose your magic to the spirits or whatever. I think they're probably dead from the seven flush. Not close enough. And yes, I want all the treasures in this dungeon. High ether, money, uh, hero ring, the works. And the funny part is, Setzer doesn't even need Reflect against that team, now that I think about it. Because, uh, he's got the Thunder Shield equipped, which would just absorb the Thundaga anyway. But, I do like the extra damage being flung back their way when it reflects, so I think I'd rather just make sure he's reflected. And again, this seems like this is probably one we can do over and over, too, so if we get decent EXP from it, it'll be worth it. 
That doesn't help our cause, but, you know, whatever. No. R.I.P. Locks MP. No. He blocked it. <laughs> Crap. I think I'm missing him to frickin' raise, didn't I? Yep. All right. Oh wait, the frickin' ring. There goes the MP. Nope, he blocked it again. <clears throat> now what are you doing, dude? Fury. He's just getting into everything he can think of. Hey, you. Well, what do you think you're doing? Still with your mouse toy. Is it your favorite? Do you love it? Not bad. Take a Faraga and leave me alone. Setzer's about to be stopped. Bells is about to be stopped. Alright, you guys are dead now, I think. Yep. Alright. So. Make sure we're completely set up here. We have re ways to reflect. Reflect ring. Lunar curtain, lunar curtain. Okay. We've got poo poo in case we need it. Alright, let's go, dude. We've come prepared in the best way that we can be. There's tornado. Here go the reflex. Does the Thundaga come next? I'll tell you that my Firaga is coming next. Now you do Mind Blast. For all of my MP, huh? And you're trying to physically attack us. There's Thundara that's getting reflected. And of course, the deep ones are healed by it. All right. Quaken. Anybody else have Quake? No? Zells, why don't you flare her? Because she scares me. All right, that's fine. If I can just get rid of her, the Deep Ones should frickin' quake themselves to death, right? Locke's about to go swinging. I don't care about Mind Blast. That's fine. I really don't care about that. 
Yo, Mirager! Dead. Not dead. That did not do a lot of damage. Bye, lock? Yeah, bye. Alright, so these buttholes... I don't even know what to do. Okay. Okay, suck it. Now they're physically attacking. I'm at the bottom of my ATB here, which sucks. Um, I can cast Phoenix. I am out of MP. I cannot cast Phoenix. That's going to kill Terra. And we're now dead. I guess the Undead Princess was not the dangerous one. And we want to kill the Deep Ones. Like, as soon as possible. We have our defenses against Thundaga anyway. Okay, so sorry, most of this... See, this is, this is what I mean. Most of this is me trying to figure out how to fight these things. Now, there could be an answer um, that I just don't have the stuff for it. But I kind of want to win this because I'm seeing a strategy that's has the possibility of working even with limited resources the thing that sucks is I would love to just go in and cast Carbuncle but we're gonna get hit with stuff before we ever get the chance to throw out Carbuncle in a million years so I can't really do that I feel as though, since we're going to be reflected anyway, we should vanish also to avoid the freaking uh, physical attacks as well. It doesn't really matter because they're going to hit us with Tornado, but I think vanishing after Tornado might be good. Who's? Let me take a look at when we get in the next battle. Let me see who gets their turn first. That's what I want to see. Whose agility is working out the best? Besides Locks, obviously, because he's gonna be preserved. Terra, okay. So, in that case, I could equip Terra with Phantom. And when she gets her turn, she can cast Phantom, which goes through Reflect and get us vanished. And that might work out better for us because the physical attack, we can't take the physical attacks. We just can't. And I need to kill the deep ones. And leave the undead princess alone. I don't think she's going to do anything uh, exactly terrifying to us. Lock is in the back row again, because I have to change it every time I die. If there's a if there's a solution to the, that fight other than what I'm seeing, like it probably has to do with status effects, and I just don't know what they're susceptible to. If they are susceptible to mute, I have not tried it. Um, that could be a thing, but as it is, I'm kind of just focusing on making sure that we can avoid what they have shown us that they have. Unlimited information here.
Oh, I forgot that Setzer's darts do nothing to those fish. Maybe the other ones? Yes, they do do something to them. We're not floating. He's gonna magnitude us. Gotta remember to set up our freaking floats. He did not magnitude us, though. Alright. Don't mess up. Get float going. Alright, seven flush. Let's go. gotta do is fight the really easy fire and I'll wait we'll probably get attacked by stuff coming back out of this cave won't we why did I go all the way around the chest <laughs> yeah I knew we'd get in another fight that's fine shit is easy enough especially when you roll seven flush every time hit Terra with that. There we go. You're dead. Okay. Here we are again. We may as well get everybody to full here. Um, Terra, you are going to want Phantom. I think you're going to want Phoenix. Because you tend to live. Um, we're floating. We're about to get vanished or uh, reflect set up at the beginning of the fight. I'm a phantom. And then, you know what? Uh, set a golem because we're going to phantom. Oh, you, you don't even matter actually right now. Uh... Yeah, I'm giving you Seraph. Okay, here's the order that things are gonna happen. We're gonna get hit by error. Or we're gonna get hit by the tornado, which Reflect will get set up on Lock and Setzer after that. Cells is going to Seraph, and then Terra is going to Phantom. So we're actually gonna do that in reverse order. Terra is going to Seraph to give us our HP back through the Reflect, and Cells is going to Phantom immediately afterwards. And Setzer will have Phoenix in case anything goes wrong. We'll see if this works out. MP being drained is not nice, but... In fact, let's do that. I didn't mean to use one on lock, but it's fine. Front row, please. All right. What order are we doing this in? 
Terra sells after reflect happens. Tornado. He blocked it. Nice. Reflect. Reflect. Thundaga. Okay, well that fucking sucks. Uh, Seraph, right? Yeah, Seraph. Another tornado. That's awesome. You... I don't even know what you should be doing here. Uh, you don't have flare or anything. You know what? Freaking Libra these things. Reflect. Bite me. Can I hit her, but not them? Oh, it, they all hit her. Okay, good. Why did you do that to Setzer? He didn't do anything. Can we get the Libra off? That'd be great. Thank you. How much HP do you have? That's what I want to know, because you guys live for fuck ever. 8,000 apiece. We're going to direct cast Flare on these butts. I think I maybe should keep Terra's turn up here to cast Seraph in case we get tornadoed again. Okay, Quake, that's fine. You're floating. You're gonna get poison spit from the lady. Maybe not. Okay, double Quake. We take those. Ha! Okay, that thing died out of nowhere. That's her. I kind of want to use Quake with you. You know what? Let's wait for Cells and do Flare instead. This is going to take a lot of our MP. How much? All kinds of it. Alright, sets her Phoenix while you can, because I think I want Locke alive. Oh my god, that was all of our MP. Holy shit. Can I get a high ether off on Cells before she does her flare? Damn it. Oh, she actually got to do it, though. Alright, she wasn't totally out of MP. Alright, now that we have used up all of our turns, a tornado is coming, right? How am I so good? How am I so good? I do not understand. <laughs> now I need to use an elixir to get through this fight. Got no freaking magic. Slot him! Okay, well, Mugu Mugu it is. Uh, you still have MP cells, so I'm glad. I never did do Phantom. So if this dude decides he wants to just throw down freaking physical attacks or start to... Okay, we got one. I don't feel safe using up Terra's turn. Flare yourself. Block, get up. Cells. Throw a float on that young man. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm really getting sick of that.
Costing me all my freaking ethers just to win this fight. What did I get out of this? Levels. AP. Two X Ethers from doing that. Yeesh, though. I used a lot of resources to get through it. Okay. We succeeded in finishing that job through tenacity and some luck. But we got through it. <laughs> Finally. I was focused and I succeeded. That's all that matters. Why did I pay for the inn? I have an inn on my airship. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Alright. So now, I'm gonna go out and save, and I think I'm gonna come back in and fight some stuff down. See if I can go back down into the underground of South Figaro and fight some more of that stuff, because it was giving okay EXP. And we're almost to level 39 on some peeps. Well, I mean... We're all not multiples of level 5 right now. The scary part is... Everything else scary about fighting Doom Gaze. <laughs> um... He does cast Doom, so I guess using Carbuncle could be helpful against him. Phantom might help, Golem might help, Phoenix might help. Yeah, let's, let's use Carbuncle for the fight. Okay. So. I don't think we want all of the uh, Reflect stuff on anymore. Uh, that's right. You want the diamond. Or no, you, know, you had the Magus. You had the black shirt. You are correct. Except for the Lunar Curtain. Uh, I think I want you with the uh, other ribbon, right? We have three ribbons now. Where's the other ribbon? I had three. Oh, you have it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. How about a barrier ring and... You have the other running shoes. You have a ribbon and a hero ring. And you have the Bacchus and a ribbon. Okay. The espers will probably be worth using. Phantom, I don't think, actually. Let's give you Seraph. Just in case we decide to carbuncle, Seraph will go through Reflect again. Alright, dude. Doomgaze. It's time. <laughs> I'm going to need my turbo button. Because if you didn't know, Doomgaze is only on one tile on the whole map. And starting at this corner, you can continuously fly. I've done this a million times beyond chaos, so... Um, and this will eventually run over every tile. Actually, I'm not perfectly diagonal. There we go. And we should get him fairly quickly. Sometimes he, uh, lags behind. Come on. There you are. If divisible by question mark... Okay. That was level question mark doom, not level 5 doom. I should know better. I should probably know better. I shouldn't know better. That's not in the original game. I assumed level 5 doom. Absolute zero. Okay, so we're dead. Setzer's dead. I was gonna have him cast Phoenix, but he's... yeah, he's dead. 
Let's see if we can get him back up. Or not get absolute zero this time. Doomgaze always has like a one-third chance of running away, even if you don't do damage to him. Shadow Flare. Wonderful. Alright, time for a Phoenix, hopefully. Okay. Thank you, Setzer. So, maybe Reflect Strats are okay. Carbuncle, so Shadow Flare gets bounced off. Might be pretty good. Uh, I would assume you're weak to Holy. Because you are Doomgaze. Damage. Lots of it, please. 2,000. Reflected. Get wrecked. That's a lot of ice threes on you. You're gonna absorb them though, aren't you? Yep. That sucks. That's alright, we should be able to out damage it, I imagine, with holies. Um fairly, fairly sure certain you have no items. Yeah. Alright. We're just gonna keep throwing down holy, dude. Until you run from us. Terra's holy ought to do a butt ton. Yeah, 3,500. That's right, it did it before. Setzers probably won't be too great. Ah, Alright, 2,000. Respectable. Absolute zero. We're probably dead. Oh no, just Setzer. Okay. That's fine. I mean, we're not getting EXP from this fight, no matter what happens, so... Just throwing out the damage is fine. We're gonna get him to run eventually. Reflected? Does it do damage to you? Probably not. It's probably like in Tanger's Shadow Flare, right? It's gonna heal him. Yeah. Only for a thousand, though. Ow. Doom gaze. Why do you gotta be a jerk to me all the time? After all we've been through. Yeah, you better run. Alright, we got some damage in at least. Are we above land? No. That's always scary. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, yes. I don't have to worry about throwing tents every time I land from fighting Doomgaze. Nor do I have to worry about being or flying back to Mobliz to use the free end because, as we've established many times now, we have an end on our airship. Now. Before I go have more words with my BFF, I do want to land and take a break real quick. It's cool, Doomgaze. Just freaking have a cup of coffee and I'll be right back, man. All right, I got a cup of coffee too. <laughs> so, I was thinking while my coffee was brewing, uh, Maybe I want to equip some stuff that's going to make our ma- uh, I guess not. Magic stronger. Eh. It's fine. Locke is swinging. Uh, he's gonna be brought back with Phoenix from Setzer. That's something that I do want to do. Okay, he's got him already. Okay. I was gonna say, running shoes so Setzer gets up there fast enough to Phoenix us back. Because what's gonna happen is everyone's gonna die except for Setzer. Right? And I think Cells? Maybe it was- Wait, no. Setzer dies. Right? Cells lives? Setzer, everyone dies except for Cells. Which makes me think that it's... Okay, so it's level 2 Doom, isn't it? 
this is all divisible by two. Am I wrong? Except for cells? Am I am I crazy? 32, 36, 36, they all die, cells lives. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Take cells Seraph off. We'll give her Phoenix. We'll give Setzer Seraph. Uh we will take the Brave Ring off of you. Give you the Brave Ring. And give you the running shoes. That way you get your turn fast enough to Phoenix. You also have an ice shield equipped, right? So you will not be killed by the uh the I the ice three. Um hmm. You know what? I almost feel like yeah, have the reflect mail, because that'll reflect Ice 3 and Shadow Flare, so there's no way Cells will die. She will get a Phoenix off. And we'll be able to go from there just fine, right? Healing everybody up with Seraph, throwing Carbuncle. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Who has Carbuncle again? Whoop. Hera has Carbuncle. I don't think I want Terra using a turn to cast it, though. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. We can use a turn for it. Her holy is amazing, but we can do without it for a turn to get everybody reflected. All right, Doomgaze, round two, buddy. Okay, that was fast. All right. And then you sneeze me. You suck. Well, whatever. I don't have to heal because you're just going to freaking level 5 doom us. Dude, he went in immediately on us. That's the one thing that sucks about doing the turbo to get him is that we get a full round of attacks in before we get to put commands. That's the one thing that sucks about turboing. Because I have to hold A to move forward. The only way we can do it is by tapping A. And I gotta re react to when he pops up. Come on, dude. Where is you? Otherwise, we're just gonna be flying over the map for like 30 minutes. There he is. <sighs> what the hell, dude? Why are you sneezing me now? That's weird. It's, I don't think sneeze is normally in his script either. Why? Is it because I'm not alive? <laughs> that's pretty dumb if that's the case. Or do I need more than one character uh, immune to your stupid death? For you not to snore. Because I bet if I have one character left alive, he just sneezes them no matter what, huh? Doom gaze! Where are you, buddy? There you are. Okay, there's the doom. We attacked with cells because we didn't have a choice. And he sneezes her. Okay. So if we have one character left alive, he always sneezes. So. Great. Um. How close are we to a level? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to only bring Terra back. We're gonna go land somewhere. And I'm gonna fight something until Terra gets to the next level, so she will also be immune to it. You know what? I mean, it wouldn't hurt just to freaking have Setzer at that level, too. Screw it. Yeah. Alright. Lock is a little too low a level for it. 
Let's go back to South Figaro. Go underneath of the town. Fight some of that stuff until these three characters are all level 37. I probably have to kill off cells. Because she's probably close to a low. No, 10,000. They'll get theirs before she gets hers. And then we'll be at static level 37, except on lock, to fight Doomgaze with. His level 5 Doom will miss everyone except for Locke, and even if he sneezes, it'll only be on one character. I really am bothered by that bridge not being there anymore. <laughs> I'm so used to just being able to cross through South Figaro through that bridge. Come on, old lady. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we were able to go down here before. Can we go back down and fight stuff still? It looks like it. Okay. Good. <laughs> this will likely get us the levels that we need. I hope. I hope, I hope. Won't you try to germ me? Guess what? He's not going to try and protect you from magic. You're dead. Alright. 1,000. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll definitely get our level before Cells does. Which is what I want. We'll have three characters at level 37. Like I said, Locke will be the only one that gets hit. I do believe. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, good. Hit missed. He got the Blizzard off before he was forced into Berserk, so one should be dead, right? Yes. This one will not be far behind, I imagine. And again, we just want to be very careful that Cells does not get a level, so we want to stay near these stairs so that we can just peace out. I mean, we can also also run away, you know. Yeah, seven flush, we'll take it. Fetzer does not care about being berserk, dude, I swear. I probably am using... Okay, nice, Setzer. Just freaking kill him. Holy crap. Berserk Setzer is balls to the wall, man. 
So what I was going to say is uh, I'm probably using... Well, I don't think... You know, the balancing is pretty good in this ROM hack. I don't think I'm using a substandard team or anything like that. I just think it's a certain kind of team. No, don't block it. Get hit by it. Thank you. Is just kind of taking a nap. He's had a he's had a big day. Please don't hit your friends until they die. Oh god. And your berserk. That's spooky. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Vivian. <laughs> Alright, only a couple more battles, I do believe, right? Yeah, like three. This seems like a good strategy. Tetsu is not swayed by your temptations. Birds! It's only gonna hit the Vivian. She deserves it. Crap for XP. It must be the naughties that do it for us, huh? That's fine. Well, give us that fight some more, <laughs> please. Oh, yeah, I forgot these things can be down here. Well. Have a slow. A flare. It really is a shame we haven't found any safety bits yet. That would just make Doomgaze much easier. Oh, we're reflected. That was stupid. Well, Cells is reflected. Never mind. She's pretty much perfectly set up to not die, no matter what. It's a good thing she's got Phoenix, I guess, but that's only going to help out with Locke when we're finished here. I'm calling my shot. It's dead after this flare. out of that. Ooh, money. We might want that at some point. 
Alright, one more fight with good EXP enemies. Preferably that aren't Tonberries right now. Okay, this is perfect. That ain't perfect. Okay, well, guess what? That's what you get for freezing my Terra. Nice try. Oh no, she's freaking charmed. She's vanishing? Not enough MP. <laughs> okay, I want this thing dead first. Okay, well... Berserk sets her, man. He's gonna attack the Malboro, though, and somebody's gonna. Cells is gonna jump in front of him, right? Thundaga on us. Not enough MP, good. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm throwing a flare. Bite me. Get out of here, Vivian. I've had it with you. You're not dead. Great. I have ribbons on. Bite me. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me, right? Well, this went pear-shaped in a hurry. The last fight we had to do to get the levels we need. That thing needs to die first, I guess, from now on. <sighs> and we're out of MP, and I'm gonna have to kill Locke off as soon as we get into a fight. I need to, I need to heal, but Locke's gonna live because of it. <sighs> Just use this stupid tent down here. <laughs> Actually, I probably don't have to kill off Locke. Eh. Yeah, I, I don't have to kill off Locke. If he got a level, he would be level 33, which would let him be immune to it anyway, I think. Um, and if he doesn't get a level, it's whatever. This is not the fight that we can get what we need from. There's no reason to do this fight, because it's not even going to get us close to a thousand EXP. I think last time it gave us 200 or something, that is not optimal. This is the fight we need, and we need the Vivian dead immediately. Freeze sets her, see if I care. three bios to kill that thing. And now we're tempted. Okay, at least Setzer is freaking frozen, even if that would have hit. Let's see who Locke attacks before we decide what to do. Locke? There we go. Is it dead from that? Probably not. Yeah, no. Of course. It will be dead probably from this next bio. There we go. Okay. Fireball! Cool. <laughs> yeah, scripts change based on how many enemies are left in the fight. So, 
Not surprised that that did something else. Oh, we slotted a uh, dragon mist. Nice. Dead. All right. 752? That's not how much it was given us before. Oh, Locke is alive. Alright, Terra. I just need you to get a level now. This should be enough. I don't care. Moogoo Moogoo. Dudes are so mad. <laughs> nice hit, Locke. All right. Terra, you got your level, right? Okay. We're out of here. We are now prepared to fight Doomgaze. Well, as prepared as I'm willing to get, I should say, right this second. I get up here and... Get healed up. And our uh our setup should be good. Only luck should be affected by level two doom. I assume it's level two. I just know that level 37 is safe, because Cells always survives it. Um and having her with reflect immediately is kinda nice. Because She'll always survive this fight, and she's got Phoenix. But we will have to throw Carbuncle. Alright, Doomgaze. Let's do this again, man. Do not sneeze on me. In the middle of a pandemic, man. Keep your cold to yourself. Where you at, buddy? There you are. Did he even do it this time? I didn't see it. There it is. Okay. Only luck. As I thought. One sneeze. And Blazaga. Of course you sneezed frickin' cells. That sucks. Alright, well, Terra? Carbuncle, please? Let's just go for friggin' birds that aren't gonna do anything to him. Death Grip, which is just an instant kill. Okay, great. I hate that. Ice Storm, which can't be reflected. What is happening? Is his script changing because he's got less HP now? That's real dumb. Uh, hey, Lock, get up and start swinging, dude. And he blew away my character that had the ice shield. Damn it. Okay, so is he always going to snort cells? Here's the thing. We're doing that. It might be that he only he only snorts the person in the second slot who's still standing or something. I don't freaking know. Then we're gonna do this. Because <laughs> Locke won't be still standing. At all. <clears throat> I think maybe I'm looking too deep into, like, trying to manipulate his script. I really hate that he's sneezing away one character. What change that made him start sneezing? Well, 
Was it because I set cells up perfectly to not be hurt by him? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just Magus her over. She doesn't have to be reflected except for Shadow Flare. That's the only thing that he can hit her with. If he hits her with ice, she absorbs it. Whatever, let's... Okay, cool. He was waiting for me above this island. Very nice. That means we'll just throw down a carbuncle immediately. Since we didn't actually get... ...jumped this time, because it was fast. Don't be cells. It was Terra. It's all of us?! I'm so confused. What's making him sneeze me? Is it because now I'm immune to level 2 doom and he's pissed about it? So he's like, go away, come back when you're the right level for me to fuck with you. Is he only gonna stick around if a bunch of characters die? He's pissed. He's just sneezing us. Okay. Well, now he's stuck around. Alright, we're getting the damage out while we can, before he sneezes us away. He keeps getting rid of cells, and she's like, one of the best characters to have for me right now. Because she has the ice shield equipped. And I've got to always be wary. Yeah, see, that's going to kill Set uh, Setzer, no matter what. No, it didn't. Okay. I've always got to be wary, too, because... <sighs> he can just do an instant death physical attack that we can't do anything about. Which is that death grip thing. Okay, Ice Storm. So, Setzer's dead. Terra's close. I'm going to erase Setzer, and he's gonna run. How do I know you so well, Doomgaze? Ah. <sighs> He's being in a big annoying butt today. What's the deal with cells? Why does he keep sneezing her, specifically? I have no idea. Because she has the freaking ice shield equipped. He, Doomgaze isn't stupid. He's just a douche. Okay, Setzer's gone this time. We're all gone. Oh, just Terra. Is it just random how many people you decide to do that to? Cool, man. Boy, I love that. I feel like I should take the ice shield off of cells, leave it in my inventory, and whoever is left, just equip it on them. That seems like a better idea, doesn't it? Have a holy. And do not death grip Terra. I wonder if that still kept his HP down from the damage we did. I don't know. I don't exactly know how Doomgaze works. 
uh, with that. When he decides to blow away your other party members, then kill one if the damage we did is still on him. I imagine it is, but no idea. What I do know is he's being a big old butthole. I think the Phoenix plan is off. I think we do Mist Dragon because it's a light attack. I think Seraph might be off. Well. Okay, I'm definitely removing the Ice Shield from Cells. And I'm putting a diamond shield on her. Whoever is left after he decides to sneeze can equip the ice shield. That way we won't have to reflect that person. It saves us a step and allows for more chances to do damage to him. Who's out of here? Terra. Cells. Sets are still here. Ice shield, sir. We're gonna have to move the ice shield to the top of the list. And you should probably blink. Maybe that will stop the uh, death grip from happening. There is a chance that that will work. Oh, it only sucks up one hit. I thought Blink would have more freaking chances than that. Absolute zero. We absorb that shit. Blink, you're not getting death grip today, Sensor. Almost feel like I should pick Lock up just to have another target. Okay, well, that's new, and that's probably dead. Oh, poisoned, okay. Um, lock. <sighs> it's really hard to get that damage out really fast. It's hard to stay alive and get the damage out. But I feel like if somebody's always going to live, we should just keep throwing Holy out. But again, I don't know if when we do the damage to him, if he snorts us, if it stays on him. I have no idea. I know when he runs, it stays on him. But I don't know... And I don't believe that you can Libra, uh, good old Doom Gaze. I don't think so, anyway. We can try. Okay. He didn't snort anybody. There's the death. Somebody snorted immediately after this, right? Locks down. Hera. Sets her. Dells is still here. Okay. Well. Let's give it a shot. Whatever. Oh, we've got him pretty low, actually. Damn it, I forgot to put the ice shield on her. She's dead. Okay. 
He's at 15,000 right now. That's actually pretty low. I gotta remember that whoever's left behind really needs the ice shield equipped. I don't think we're ever gonna wipe to Doom Gaze right now, so I don't think I'm gonna save this time. I think we'll just fly looking for him. Because he's always gonna snort someone away, right? Which means we'll always get away from him. The question is... Is the damage staying on him that we do? I guess it would have to, because if we Libra him after doing the damage... Before he snorts us away, it would show that we did the damage. I bet it still hangs around on him. Doomgaze, we're reaching the cres crescendo of our epic frickin' battle in the air. These skies belong to me, sir. Come out and try to prove me wrong. Oh, you being a little baby? You hiding from me now? Nursing that little head cold you got, buddy? Doom gaze! Get out here and fight me like a flying demon. All right, you don't like this angle, do you? How about this one? Look at me flying around your world. Look at me. I can go wherever I want, because I'm not afraid of any doom gazes. Oh, shit. Who's out? Everybody. Okay. Bite me, dude. <laughs> he decided to snort us all that time. I guess it's random how many people he snorts. I don't freaking know. I guess having four characters standing is probably pretty good for that. Because Locke's always going to be down. I could have gotten him a level, but now it would throw us off. Because if I went to level Locke now with this team, then Cells would go past the level that she would be immune to level whatever Doom. Level 2 Doom. Come on, dude. Ugh. Let me set this up the right way. There you are. Who's out of here? Cells is out of here. See ya, Terra. Sets are you're in. Alright. Ice shield. Holy immediately. Yes, we got some damage in. That's all I care about. Of course, Setzer's damage sucks. 26. That's eh, not terrible, but... Alright, keep hitting him. See if he cares. You are very fast, though, Doomgaze. I know. I know you're fast. Absolute zero. Ice shield, bitch! Suck it. Have a holy for it. Alright, so we did 3,000 here. Or not 3,000, uh, about 6,000. Not too shabby. Scourge? That's you're alive from that, right? Yes. Can you, tr can you try and get another holy out before he... Pisses off. Ah, you bastard. He's too fast. <laughs> Alright. I am gonna save this time. Because... I think now he's under 10,000 HP. And there is always that chance that T-Edition decided to change his script to do something wild when he's that low. They might have even given him a death attack. Like a, hey, I just died, so I'm gonna do this move now. Attack. That is quite the theme that seems to be happening. So yeah, we're, we're going in ready. All right. 
There's Thunder Shield back on there. I just freaking organized, didn't I? No. Where's my ice shield? Dang it. All right. This probably won't be the final battle right here, but we're getting close. Come on out, buddy. You know, as much as I want you to die so that I can open up... Oh, I'm in, not in the correct spot. As much as I want you to die so I can open up more of this world for myself. I am going to miss you, Doomgaze. That does not mean hide for me to make this take longer. Okay. <laughs> That's her again. Everybody's gone. Okay. Man. I'm just trying to put you out of your misery because that cold seems pretty bad now. Okay. Terra stayed. Okay, let me get my freaking ice shield on. And let me just... Holy the crap out of you. Come on, Terra. Okay, just death? Okay, that missed. Good. <sighs> nice try, buddy. Ooh, 35. He's gonna get scared. I know him. He's gonna run. Right now. Oh, Bio! You sticking around? So that should be about 7,000, which would put him at about 3,000, like, one, within one holy range. I'm gonna attempt to morph. Scourge me all you want. Morph. And wholly immediately. Dead? Peace, Doomgaze. I'll see you in Beyond Chaos, buddy. Yes. Nice shot, Terra. Did we get anything out of that besides just killing him? No, what's that? What's that? Death Gaze Claw. Alright. The skies are liberated. What is Death Gaze's Claw? Is it a rare item? Claw of the Fiend Death Gaze can be made into something? Be made into something. Who would be able to make something out of Doomgaze's claw? Weaponsmith of some kind? I would expect it would be turned into a weapon. No, we'll figure that out at some point. But I do know that Sid said something to me about the house being fixed up if I beat Doomgaze. Which means that my intuitions were right to save him this game. Because I think I probably would have missed content. I don't have to save before taking off anymore. Rip, Doomgaze. This will not be our last meeting. It never is. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Besides Leviathan Magicite, I'm not fighting yet. We beat Doomgaze, Sid. The house has changed. I was finally able to fix the house. Thank you. 
all I hope? So, it's good to have you back. I'm quite well now, thanks to you. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad. Oh yes, I have someone I'd like you to meet, Grandin. Oh, I have luck! That's right! Cool! That returner? I thought I recognized you. The last time we met was at the banquet, as I recall. Thank you for all your help back then. It's good to see you again. <coughs> We're a criminal! <coughs> <coughs> we created Kefka! <coughs> Caused the <coughs> end of the world! <coughs> Um, you're both welcome to stay here tonight. I'll even cook up some delicious, delicious fish. Uh-oh. <laughs> Make sure they're not poisonous. Oh, she's on the... mountain. There you are. Oh, a nice little scene. I finally woke up after the cataclysm. Grandad and I were the only ones on this island. All the others had already thrown themselves off of this cliff. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten to see this scene if we, uh... If we let Sid die. But I bet... She tells the story of her trying to commit suicide if Sid dies, if we come back. Maybe. Still alive now, thanks to our friends, thanks to you. Say it! Protecting the world and keeping you safe. That's my dream now. That's all that matters to me. After all, how can I call myself Treasure Hunter if I don't even have a dream to chase? True. Treasure Hunter? That's just a funny way of saving Thief. Cells! You wouldn't dare. Okay. That was kind of cute. Brought some of those flowers CM made. We need to live life as best as we can, not just for ourselves, but for everyone who's gone to. Oh, it's reliving the freaking opera. That's sick. That was really sweet. Worth beating Doomgaze to see. Thank you, Granddad. We had a wonderful time. Some tasty fish. Please feel free to visit any time. Oh, yes, this is for you, Cells. Tynar Rouge. Wonder what that is. Get in too much danger. I expect you to come back alive. That's a perfume, right? Lipstick, okay. Auto wall and auto regen. And a raise times five. Okay, Terra Cells and Dirt can equip it. Auto wall, auto regen. Okay, so it's, uh. Um. What the hell's the. Thinking of? Not. Freaking Atlas Armlet. Um. Damn it! What's the name of the freaking relic in the vanilla game? Zarina Ring. Zarina Ring is shell and safe, right? So that's what they re replaced it with. Okay, neato. Well, we have that. Um, no problem. What kind of stats does it give? Magic power up. Magic defense up. Fifty? Okay. Word. I think I'm sticking with my running shoes for now, but cool, we got something out of all that. Good night, Doomgaze. Sleep well, sweet prince. There's a well now. Can I do anything with the well? No? Okay, well. <laughs> well. Nothing back here, nothing in the bush. I know what's down here, and we ain't messing with that right now. Alright. Let's get out of here. Glad we got to see that scene. Okay. 
I just realized that we never unlock shit with luck in Nersh. Ever. <laughs> oh, we've had him back for quite some time, too. We need to get Umaro back, man. Or not back, but we need to get Umaro. He's the only dude we're missing. I'm so glad I can fly without fear now. Until frickin' Ultra Doom Gaze, specific to T-Edition, <laughs> rises out of the sea to confront me. Alright, now yeah, let's go to Narsh and start unlocking stuff. <laughs> With good ol' luck. I don't think I came back here and checked this out after we found the guy under South Figaro, either. Slow and only little by little. Bit. Yeah, I know that. Houses to repair in the town to guard. They're about things are about to get a lot busier for us. The item shop's been open. The place I was waiting for to open up and to have someone in it was the armor shop. Still nobody. Okay. Um. Relic shop? Oh, relic shop's open. Was it always open? No, ward bangle. Wow, okay, that's it. Hey! Granny? Okay. Also heard they have guardians to protect them or something like that. Okay, I know about the four crystals, and I was leaving them for a minute while I went ahead and did all this other crap. Alright, I've not bought these things yet. Uh... But I have most of them. Oops, didn't mean to sleep in here. Sorry, buddy. Always do that. Did I talk to you? Yeah. Arch is my home. Alright, well. <sighs> yeah, open this up, Locke. This is the Curse Shield guy's house. Hey, dude. You got a Curse Shield for me? Take it. Only there were a way to lift the curse would be the finest shield in the world. Wonderful. So we just have a Curse Shield. I wonder if the amount of battles has changed. Probably not. We have a ribbon, though, so we could begin to try to break the curse. Where are you at? There you are. Blood smeared shield that carries a horrifying curse. Weaknesses to everything. Oh, it doesn't say what it gives. Oh. Oh, it won't say all the status effects that it gives. Okay, well. I guess we'll see who can equip that. So we got that unlocked. Good. Good job, lock. Um. I doubt if there's anything up here in here, but we can't unlock it. Yeah, it's locked, so lock, unlock it, dude. Well, that's weird. Is there some reason it's gonna be unlocked later? There should only be some empty-ass chests in there. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's check in with Bannon again. Maybe something... Maybe he'll talk about the Doom Gaze Claw and tell us what we're supposed to do with it. Um, those are all the same things that you've already talked about. I still haven't found that other half of the page that Arvis is talking about either. Maybe some NPCs that talk about Doomgaze will have an idea of what I should do with this claw. I, you know, if all else fails, just you go and talk to scholars, right? Isn't there a scholar in uh, Albrook that talks about being a scholar of weapons and tells you about the Atma weapons and stuff? Maybe if I bring the claw there, he'll have something to say. 
That's a big old stretch, but we can try it. <laughs> oh shit, I'm supposed to smoke outside. What the hell's my problem? Uh, sorry guys. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. This guy. Okay. Well, let's. There's an NPC in this town that talks about Doomgaze, too. I think he's up here, right? No, you're not it. Uh. Where is he? You. Well, I've seen what happens when that exact thing happens, buddy, and it ain't pretty. You get level two dude. And... All right. What? You're the guy that told me about the goddess spell. Yeah, I don't have it though, so. Are there any new sh quests in this pub? I might unlock some stuff now that we have an airship. No, these two have been done. Out of fish again. Vector sardine. I think I have one already. No, I don't. Okay, fine. So you can just repeat this quest. That's the one he was looking for before anyway. Who would make something out of the Doomgaze Claw? All the Fiend Doomgaze can be made into something. The only weaponsmith that I knew of... ...was in Narsh, and he's the one that gives us either... We have to have Ragnarok for him, right? Because he either turns, uh, he can turn into a sword or we can keep the Magicite. Um, I don't know of any other weaponsmiths. We made into something. Who can make things into stuff? Ain't Kalingan, right? would be the dragon's neck. Wouldn't be South Figaro or Nikia. Dang it, I feel like I'm just flying around uh, in circles here. Okay, we'll figure out the Death Gaze Claw later. What I want to end this episode on is trying to take out Leviathan. That is the final thing that I want to try. before closing out this chapter. I think having Esper's is always going to help. Uh, she has the ice shield on, that's fine. Flame shield, we do not want. Aegis shield, there you go. Thunder shield should be fine. We might have to reflect him to make the Karaga not work. Why don't you put on that Tynar thing? So you have some shell working. And some regen working. As far as espers go, Carbuncle could help. 
Mist Dragon isn't going to help at all here, so Poo Poo is probably a better idea. Golem could help, except that you're going to be... Uh... Berserking. Herbuncle, Poo Poo, Phantom. Let's try that. Recon mission. Oh, we can try and get a Vector Sardine over. Uh, I guess we should make sure we win the fight first. <laughs> he is weak to lightning. And we have two characters with Thundaga. Let's go, dude. I am not afraid of you. How much is the flood doing? Okay, decent amount. That's fine. Kura. Let's reflect him. Let's reflect someone on our team so that we can bounce. Uh. Thundaga's off. Through his reflect. We want his Kuraga to bounce off of him. That's what I want. Tail Whip's gonna hurt, right? Yes, that is his most powerful attack. He is just swinging. Lock is gonna do a lot of damage. Except that it stopped him? They, it stops them. That's not good. Um. All right, dude. Nobody's reflected then. Okay, so reflect on Setzer with Terra. I don't like being stopped. That makes me believe that Ribbon doesn't protect against stop. So we need something that protects against stop, which is like the Kachka or whatever it is, right? Um. I don't think this heal stop. Stop has to wear off. Um, I guess we'll Phantom now. El Nino, I forgot about that move. That's a problem. Because that does not even kind of matter to... Yeah, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Well, that's gonna unvanish him and do a lot of damage. Hmm. I feel like there's. I don't have anything that absorbs water right now. But I feel like there's a rage. that probably is immune to water. That was a lot of damage, though. Good job, Terra. Okay, well, you're dead, and so sets her, probably. Okay, El Nino's a problem. How did it do so little damage to sets her? Did we get him in a loop like that? Blood? Hmm. He's not doing ice attacks. He's only doing water. Physical attack. Damn it. Tail whip. Damn it. And stop. Okay. Let's think of all the things that suck about this fight. El Nino always is going to hit us and is always going to do damage. Setzer, for whatever reason, is taking less damage from it than everyone else. So let's figure out what it is that Setzer has equipped. 
that's making him take less damage from water. Being stopped sucks. Um, and I know that Ribbon doesn't protect from stop, but I think these things do. One of these things. Brett? No. White cape? Toad. Peace ring? Is it the peace ring? No. Mutant sleep. Door ring? Stone. I think everything. Any, I, I don't think I have anything that prevents stop. Stone, berserk, confused, mute. I guess we have to be. Van well, being vanished when we go in doesn't matter. Because. He's just gonna flood us and that gets rid of the vanish. What does Setzer have that's making him take less from water? Is it the Thunder Shield? I think it is, actually. It's like half damage from water? Yes. Okay. So... Give you the Thunder Shield. Um... We don't need the ribbon on you. Um, so how about a reflect ring? Actually, reflect armor. There we go. You've got the, the speed boots, or the uh, running shoes. Um, Zephyr Cape would make you try and evade attacks. I think Protect Ring is probably better. I think you're going to be our hope to uh, surviving. Have Phoenix, because that's something you can cast if, if you're going to live. Uh, let's give you something that raises your magic power. Where's an enhancer? I don't have an enhancer. I should buy an enhancer. Absolutely should go buy an enhancer. Which should be... Is it Nikia, right? Nikia usually has them. We're thinking through this. We're thinking through this. I think we just need one super caster, basically, like Terra. <laughs> Who can reflect spells off for self. Somebody needs to be able to reflect Leviathan because Kiraga. This is usually the place with enhancers. No. I knew I know I could buy one though. I just forget where. Was it Miranda? I think it might have been. Miranda is... Okay, why am I losing my mind? Miranda's over here, right? No, this is general. Yeah, Miranda's up this way. Right, right, right. I think this is where the enhancer was. If so, I will definitely be buying it. Yeah, 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 Okay, okay. I'm just randomly talking to townspeople in case something happens that I don't know about. There you are. Oh, it... it can dispel magic. I certainly hope it's still got its stat-ups. Plus five magic power instead of plus seven. Cool. There we go. Yeah, that raises it up the most. Word.
Yeah, dude. Phoenix. Poop it wouldn't hurt. Golem would be great. You know what? I think. Lock. We need to get rid of your Bacchus. Finally. Give you a Protect Ring. And we'll have you throw out Golem. Because it will definitely protect us at least a little bit from Tail Whip and all that stuff. He's going to run out of HP quick, but he's going to be helpful no matter what. Okay, so Terra is, is set up for success here. We basically just need to keep her alive. We need to reflect Leviathan with someone besides Terra, and Terra needs to throw Sunda Sundagas at herself. Bring it on, dude. I think I might be ready for you now. We'll see. Okay, Flood. Whatever. Terra's not going to take a lot of damage from that. Okay, I was waiting for the blue aura to make sure that she was reflected. <laughs> Golem. And... Reflect on Leviathan. And Setzer's turn. Oh, I wish you had Seraph. Damn it. I wish I would have put Seraph on you. That would have been perfect, actually. Um... That's okay, let's just make sure Locke stays alive here, I guess. Thank you. Golem's already out? Wow. From one attack? There's no way. Oh. It depends on the caster, doesn't it? His HP? Am I wrong? I might be. If it's lock casting it, it's probably not a lot. <laughs> Alright. Okay, El Nino's bad. Terra might be dead. Yes, she definitely is. There's the Kiraga. It's gonna bounce off. I am going to reincarnate Terra. I think this is a good use of that here. I really wish I would have brought uh, Seraph. That was the miscalculation. Setzer should have Seraph equipped to heal us through, or to heal us all for a lot, and through um, Reflect. But he's dead now. Pick him back up. Terra, your only job is to Thundaga. You don't need to be doing anything else. Okay, Golem. Thank you. Golem is already down, I imagine, right? Wouldn't hurt. Good frickin' guarded. Good guarding! Golem again, please. Stop the tail whip. Terra, morph. I need a big fat Thundaga from you, Terra. Do a ton. Holy shit, Terra, you're the best. <laughs> Need one from you too now, Cells. As soon as I see that wall drop off of Leviathan, I gotta put it back on him. Ha! Okay, it's not off him yet. Bite me, dude. You are not healing. 
It's not happening. Stop hoping for it. I'm actually afraid to use it. Okay, swing. That was a bad idea. That elicited that. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. He's guarding it. We got another thund morphed Thundaga coming out. We are doing some damage right now. Tail Whip, Golem, still good. I kind of want to Ether. I'm gonna Ether, because I need, oh shit. Well, I wasted an Ether, because Locke is dead. Shit. I needed him to stay alive to Golem us again. That's okay. Maybe we can just out-damage him. Maybe we can kill him before he gets to really do anything else. Eesh. That tail whip is tough, dude. Oh my goodness. Setzer having Seraph would have made this a lot easier. Um... I need you alive, Terra. Come on, please. Please just tell me this is the last Thundaga I need. That would be so nice. Because Zell's is down now. Aqua Breath now, too. Okay. That didn't do much. Thundaga. Please. 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 <sighs> no, not a freaking second phase, dude. Ooh. Why? You're gonna be ice now, aren't you, you bastard? Time to pick our team back up, I guess. I should've just phoenixed. Let's see if Thunder now heals him. Second phase and bastard. Oh great, I did something bad. Hey, he did it back to me. Okay. And then floods. Lightning zaps the water, huh? Oh my fuck, stop! Alright, well fine, have a flare then. See if I care. I don't have any more elixirs. That sucks. Blair isn't gonna freaking zap the water. It's just gonna burn you, bitch ass. Non elementally burn it. Yes, no response. Screw using thunder now, I guess. We're just flaring him. Spinning dive. Oh, you're dead as shit. Okay, we're phoenixing. Hera? There you go. Thank you, Verdi. You are the best bird. Aqua Breath, Terra's probably dead here. No, she's good, she's good. She's just fucking fine. I knew she'd get a turn before them. <laughs> Alright, how about a flare? I need somebody who can cure us. Damn it, what is that? Sloga. Okay, good. I don't care. That is totally fine, I guess. Now you're slowed to- no, you're not. And stop! Leviathan gathers water. We have to lightning. Which means we're gonna elicit a counter. That is really dumb, because he's gonna wave us if we don't Thundaga him. Okay, let's Kira. And we will just try a Thundara to get rid of the friggity frickin' waves, dude. I'm not getting waved by you. I'm X-Potioning Terra again, dude. We're going through all our X-Potions. I need Leviathan to die. Shit!
The second phase horse shit, dude. All right, well. We could have survived that. It is a slog. You should have Seraph, nothing else. I was so close. I was so close. Well, we obviously need to think about what we're going to do to get through that from now on. Obviously, we can't zap him because we get countered when we do that with more lightning. But he did only Thundara us back, not anything spooky. So maybe we should have stuck to the Thundaga plan. I think maybe we do that next time we try and fight him. We're set up for success, like everybody's fine. We need Terra to stay alive the whole fight, and she was doing a good job of doing so. Ish. We definitely want that poo-poo down, because it's helpful. Golem was very helpful, but not on lock. Hera having Phoenix is very helpful. We almost died if it weren't for that. I'm trying again. I'm fairly certain that Golem is directly affected by whoever casts him. Hmm. Setzer, I'm putting you back in your engineer gear. That might help. A little. A little more magic oomph from you, big guy. Ever have any yet? Nope. Never will. <laughs> magic, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think we just stick to the Thundaga plan. And I think if I morph with Terra immediately, she will be in morph the whole damn fight, because that gauge was taking forever to go down. And I'm smoking up here, I don't care. Let's go, you dirty sea snake. Ooh, look at me, I can cause a flood underwater, because I'm a stupid dragon. forgot to reflect him. Okay, we haven't done any damage to him yet. Let's just reflect him with Terra. That's fine.
This is definitely a better setup than we had before. Ha! Double ha! Really sucks that when Lock casts Golem, it's only eaten one hit. Maybe I should give him Poo Poo then, probably. Yeah, because it... Yeah, dude, why didn't I do that? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, Seraph needs to go down then. That's gonna hurt. Thanks for the Kiraga, butthole. Seraph does cost a lot of MP to cast, though. Maybe we shouldn't use it so willy-nilly. Thundaga number one. Bang. Thundaga number two. Bang. Now, let's n try not to steal from the freaking King of Summon Monsters. Uh, <laughs> um... You're not really going to help us here, Locke. Swing. Okay, that elicits a Tail Whip. We can't do that. Flood. That needs to be Seraphed pretty much every time he does it. Because that's too much damage. Suck it. It's three Sundaga Thundagas. Oh! Golem is, uh, still up. Neat. Four Thundagas. Okay, Cells is stopped. because I did not have a golem up to keep that from happening. Or Thundaga. He did not counterattack that. How about a Thundara there, Setzer? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I should have probably waited to use Seraph. Threw me off my rhythm. That's not good. Ha! Thundara was not worth throwing there, I don't think. Yeah, no. Okay, you are out of MP. I'm gonna have to XF through you because we need those golems pretty much all the time. Six Thundagas? Still not dead. We're still not changed, I should say. Thank you, Seraph. You're going back up. I feel like we're going to want to reflect on everybody now. I think this is the call. Because he's going to, whatever level of thunder I throw at him, he's probably shooting back at me, right? Because I did Thundara before and he did Thundara back. So he's probably going to do Thundaga back this time. If I can get my reflect off on Setzer before Thundaga. Nope, he's gonna get hit by it. Here it comes. Thundara back. Okay, so it's always Thundara. Take it back. I don't want it. Yes. 
So Setzer's gonna have to be set up and ready to heal the El Nino with Seraph. Yes. Aqua Breath right after it. Setzer, don't be dead. I almost feel like I want to make sure he has the MP for it. He would have had it. That's okay. We're still going, son. Fight me. Ha! <laughs> okay, Flood. Ouchies for sure. Oh, he just physically attacked. Put the golem back out. Kind of want a Sarah for safety. Ah, eh, we're all right. We seem to be okay. The only one he'll probably die from it is Locke right now. <laughs> okay. Pandara coming back down. Getting reflected. Taking a bunch of damage, aren't you, buddy? Golem went and blocked something. Oh, Terra's turn was up. Crap. I am ready to heal. Yes. Seraph. He's gonna do Aqua Breath at the other end of it though, right? Setzer's probably dead. Phoenix? I don't have the MP. This could be where everything goes sideways for me. Yes! Victory! I've confirmed the power of your light. Henceforth, thou shalt come to your aid. Hey, man. About all that shit that I talked to you while we were fighting, um, you're still gonna be my friend, right? Good. <laughs> Yo, we got Leviathan, dude. That's sick. Did we get a vector sardine? We did! Everything is going well for us. What do you got for me, Leviathan? Flood? We actually have a water spell. Hell yes. Alrighty. Well. Uh, Terra? You did most of the work in that fight. You and Setzer, really. And he died. Yo, dude, we did it. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, indeed. I am so glad that I finished off this episode beating Leviathan. <sighs> well. That had to be strategized down to the finest detail. But holy crap, it was... I, I, I mean, it was fun. <laughs> it felt really good when all of those Thundaras reflected off of us every time. The four in a row hitting them and doing like almost three grand. That was awesome, dude. Well, you think you're just gonna counter me with Thunder and think it's okay? No. There's, there's an argument to be made that one of my characters probably should have had Carbuncle on to prepare for that. So I didn't have to manually reflect everybody, but... I kind of wanted Poo Poo. I think we needed Poo Poo to survive that. At these levels, probably. I'm almost certain that I should have been a higher level to beat Leviathan. Whoo, baby! We got us the King of the Summon Monsters on our team. Hell yeah! And I am going to go land at Narsh and save and that is the end of this episode this time went much better than the last episode my mentality was better and i was able to think through these problems instead of just running into them 
and hoping shit worked. So, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Next episode, I don't know what we're doing. We've got Leviathan now. That's something. Um. Oh, there's the lady. There's the lady in Miranda who was talking about the sea dragon. She has a piece of magicite. Or she knows where one is. Because she was talking about she found a rock. And she kept having the dream about the girl crying. And I thought that was a reference to Sildra and Ferris. I think she might know where Shura's magicite is. Because that's the only other girl I can think of that's sitting there, like, waiting for Leviathan. Or weeping that he's not there or whatever. And a, a sea dragon calling back. I am almost certain that's the case. I bet we can get Ashura, and I bet she's got my Karaga. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. This episode was awesome, and I will see y'all next time. Peace!